What's up guys, before I start today's video, I'm gonna jump in and clean up my carport and do a little time lapse for you guys. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over um, my build. I've got a 2013 FRS and my plan is to throw in a K24A2. It's a Honda engine out of a Acura TSX. to go onto the engine stand so I can do a, uh, a tear down. So throughout this video I'll do a little time lapse of uh, putting my engine on the engine stand and uh, yeah, put it in the video here. Check it out. engine tear down uh, in a time lapse. Enjoy. Power Industries conversion kit ordered, and it's uh, going to be here in a couple weeks. And then I can start putting on the new components and uh, get this build on the go. Start piecing everything back together. I'm going to do a little clip here of uh, just a walk around of the car. Enjoy. First, I wanted to throw in a turbo to the FA20 engine that uh, the FRS came with, but then I later decided that I'm going to go the engine swap route. Um, just don't want a detonation to happen. I've heard the FA20 is a handle uh, boost that well uh, for a long period of time for reliability. So that's why I went with the uh, A24 A2 route. Um, I did have a lot of fun at the start with the FA20 engine sliding around. It, it has enough power to slide, but ultimately not, not enough. Uh, I'll show you guys some clips of uh, when I was sliding at the beginning. 
jacket. definitely drift it. Uh, hopefully I can get you guys some content of uh, me going to some drift events and uh, kind of filming it on the way. But right now it's just focus on the build. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth with uh, the insulation portion. There's a lot of videos online on how to do this conversion kit. So um, more or less I'm going to slap together, film on the way. and. Uh, yeah, I'll show you, show you guys what the K24 can do in the FRS. <laughs> 